Despite getting knocked out by Jake Paul, Ben Askren has a newfound respect for him after his split decision win over Tyron Woodley this past weekend, even if he felt Woodley still won the contest. I thought that was pretty solid for his boxing debut. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated he didn't beat up Jake Paul. Listen, that's what I wanted to happen too. I wanted him to knock Jake Paul's head off. He didn't get it done. Other thing that happened for me, I, I gained a lot of respect for Jake Paul. Now, I know he got TKO on me, but I knew I wasn't very good at boxing. I told all of you that, like, I'm not a very good boxer. I just think I'm better than he is. Okay, so when he got a knockdown on me, yeah, hey, whatever. He didn't earn my respect. Watching him versus Tyron, I have a lot of respect for Tyron's striking ability. And I think Tyron won the fight, but e either way, it was, it was a really highly competitive bout. And I think it's pretty evident. And the only way you're not going to think this is if you really hate the guy. And I don't hate him, I'm whatever, towards him. Uh, pretty evident to me that he's worked pretty hard at this. And he's pretty tough, right? He took some pretty big shots from Tyron and kept on fighting. So in that respect, he has earned my respect for sure. Uh, in, a, in a way that he didn't in my fight or any of the fights previously. All but one fighter made weight for UFC Vegas 36 on Saturday night. Middleweight headliners Darren Till and Derek Brunson both made weight, making their main event official. The only other fighter to miss weight was Jonathan Martinez, who came in at 138 pounds for his bantamweight fight with Marcelo Rojo. It was the second time he had missed weight for the promotion. Oscar De La Hoya is out of his boxing match with former UFC lightweight champion Vitor Belfort. De La Hoya was set to take on Belfort on September 11th in what was his first fight in boxing since retiring in 2008. However, he tested positive for COVID-19 and is now ruled out. Boxing legend Evander Holyfield is set to replace him on short notice. Wanted you to hear directly from me that despite being fully vaccinated, I have contracted COVID and am not going to be able to fight next weekend. Preparing for this comeback has been everything to me over the last months, and I wanted to thank everyone for their tremendous support, De La Hoya tweeted. Thanks all for checking out the Combat Crack Daily Updates on Combat Sports.